So when we came over here, the Most High was telling us, telling my family, fear not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed. I am your mighty one. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. Well, he didn't he didn't command us to come out to not help us. And so we my family had to be the most high had to speak to us. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Behold all those who were incest against you. Watch this. Shall be ashamed and disgraced. All of those that come against you, all those that rebel against you, when all you're trying to do is give them my word this is what he's saying all of those that came against you they shall be as nothing now i'm not saying this the most high is saying this so be careful be careful if you call yourself righteous any kind of righteous be careful who you go against who you speak against make sure this person is wicked and make sure this person is not trying to teach the scripture to the best of his ability Make sure you make you you call those that's willingly teaching people, you know, wrong things when knowledge came forth. Make make sure it's those people and not those teachers that's trying their best when the and the most high using this person. And those who strive with you shall those who strive with you shall perish. All these people will pass away. You're gonna look around and say, where are they? Where are those that came with the righteous? that will be dwelling in the midst of the land, they're going to look around and say, where are all of those that came against us? It says, you shall seek them and not find them. Those who contended with you, those who war against you, shall be as nothing. They will be as nothing. So this is why we don't fight against the rebels. Rebels, understand now why you won't get a fight from me. People that come against me, you see why I won't fight against you? They will be as nothing. Leave these people alone, righteous people. Leave them alone and watch what happened. As a non-existing thing, I don't want to fall on this end. I will not be speaking against any teacher that trying to teach to the best of their ability. There is no way I'm going to speak against this person. For I, Yahuwah, your Elohim, will hold your right hand saying to you, fear not, I will help you. The Most High saying he's going to hold our hands. He's telling us to fear not, he is going to help us. Now, here is a point. For some of the, even the rebels, the Most High tell us don't fight with them. Some of these rebels, possibly the Most High may knock them upside the head. Possibly. He may knock them, they may come to this channel, speak against me say bad things i blocked them watch this i blocked them and then the most high blocked them he go upside their head when i say block them he blocked he hit them upside the head and then they realized they don't went against somebody that was with the most high the most high was with them and then the most high hit them and knocked them to their senses now this person get back on track now they're blocked from me i can't speak with them but long as they stay in good standing with the Most High, it's fine. 14. Fear not, you worm Yaakov, you, you men of Yasharah, I will help you, says Yahuwah, and your Redeemer, the Kadash one of Yasharah. The Most High is going to help his people. Those that's in the midst of coming out, make sure you understand it's the Most High that's going to help you. It's the Most High that's going to hold your hand. Deuteronomy 31 and 6. Be strong. We have to be strong strong coming out of these countries <clears throat> and these lands that we've been captive in. He's saying, be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid of them. For Yahuwah, your Elohim, he is the one who get, who goes with you. See, when you leave these lands under the commandment of the Most High and you leave, he goes with you. He will not leave you, nor will he forsake you. We must know his word. His word strengthens us. When we're weak and we get his word, it strengthens us. That's what happened to my family. They were weak at that point. We had just came in. Everything was, uh, it, 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 thing, their life got turned upside down. And the Most High's word strengthened it. I saw it. It was unbelievable. This was something you must understand the statement I'm about to say. This was something I could have never done to them. 
but the most high word. He spoke to them with his word and it strengthened them unbelievably. Psalms 84 and 11. For Yahuwah Lord is a sun and shield. You see this? He's our shield. He blocks these. That's why he, listen, the shield protects. Without a shield, you're unprotected. So Yahuwah is our shield. He is our protection. This is what Psalm 84 and 11 is saying. Yahuwah will give favor and splendor. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. So when you keeping his commandment, come out of her, my people, there's no good thing he's going to withhold from you as long as you walk according to uprightly according to his word. This is what he's saying. Second Baruch uh, 63, 9 and 10. He says, And Zion was saved, and Jerusalem delivered. Yasharal also was freed from tribulation. You see, Yasharal, when we went into the lanes of our captivity, that was tribulation. When they was in the slave ships, that was Jacob's trouble. When they was kicked out of the land 78, that was Jacob's trouble. There was none to bury the bodies, none to bury the dead. That's your key indication. You're in Jacob's trouble. When there are none to bury the, the body. The slaves were hung from trees. There were none to bury their bodies. The slaves died. They threw them over the ships into the sea. By brute evil men, there were none to bury their bodies. And those, and all those who were in the Kadash land, all those who's dwelling in the midst of the land, watch this, rejoice, and the name of the, of the mighty one was magnified so that it was spoken of. Listen, this is the reason we don't have to fight over the name. We're going to get the name. So the camp should be able to come together knowing the scripture said we're going to get the name. Knowing if we fight against each other, we make we weaken ourselves for the enemy. And this is something they should know and understand. We should never fight about his word. If someone wants to fight about his his not his word, his his name. If someone come to me about a fight with his name, I will have a healthy conversation. After that, I'm done. I'm done. Here is the scripture. Here are those that's named after Yahuwah. Here is the Aubrey letters. Here is what they mean. Uh, who's named after this one? Who's named after? Who's named after? Hi no one answer me. Who's named after higher? No one can answer that question. They come to that video that I told you I get attacked on, and I ask the question: Name me one person in the scriptures that's named after higher, and they flee. They don't answer, and I know they go back to their leaders and ask their leaders. And their leaders can't give them an answer. Baruch seventy-one and one. And the Kadash land shall have favor on them. The Kadash land going to have favor, kindness on the people. And it shall protect its inhabitants at that time. At what time? At the time the people will be dwelling in the midst of the land. The land will protect the people. And this is what the Most High's word said. His land protecting the people. Dead Sea Scrolls this is coming on page 573. Oh, uh, let me see. Okay, I'm going to start at the beginning. For Yahuwah knows the days of the perfect and their portion shall be forever. In evil times, they shall not be, uh, they shall not be shamed. So the righteous will not be shamed. Watch this. For the penitents of the desert who, who save shall live for, all, for a thousand generations and to whom all the splendor of Adam shall belong as also their seed forever. So these people will be dwelling in the splendor of the first man forever, their seed forever. And in the days of the famine, you know, death and famine amongst the heathens. Here we go. In the days of famine, we're being told in the scripture, the prophets, the Dead Sea Scrolls is telling us this famine is coming. They shall be satisfied. All right, here we go for the one. Here's, here's the message for those that uh, don't come out. Here is your message. Those that's in the land, dwelling in the land, the days of 
famous, they're going to be satisfied. But the wicked, the wicked shall perish. Now, here is the interpretation. Because there's these scrolls that it interprets the scripture for you. What does this mean? This means that he will keep them alive. Keep who alive? Those that flee out of the lands. He will keep them alive during the famine and the time of humiliation. This is another message. What else comes with death and famine amongst the heathens? Humiliation. You will be humiliated. These Christian evangelical pastors, they will be humiliated. These camps that's leading people astray, they will be humiliated. Watch this. Whereas by many shall perish from famine and plague, all those who have not departed, here we go, all those who have not departed from there to be with the congregation of the righteous. What do you mean? They didn't depart. He said, come out of her, my people. He said, go, leave, go from the midst of her, my people. And all those that did not depart from there, there, where is there? Wherever you was, wherever you are captive, in whatever land you're being captive in. And you didn't depart to come be with the congregation. Now, we know what depart means. Here's depart. Leave. You did not leave. Especially in order to start a journey. You didn't start a journey. Okay. Those that don't believe we're supposed to leave to, to deliver ourselves. You didn't start your journey. You didn't go. Look at the synonym. You didn't go. You didn't withdraw from these lands. You didn't quit these lands. We have to quit working for Babylon. You didn't exit. Look at the word exit. Exit. This is where we get exodus. This is a second exodus. This is another exodus. You didn't decamp, retreat, retire. You didn't deviate from her. It says deviate from. You did not deviate from Babylon. You didn't diverge from Babylon. You didn't digress from Babylon. Look at these, look at these synonyms here. You stayed in the land. So you didn't depart. You're going to end up famine and death. That's why none shall be delivered. You must get that. Second Baruch 84. This is the end of Second Baruch. And this is your word. Behold. I have therefore made known unto you these things while I live. And I'm telling the most high have made known to you these things. That you should learn the things that are excellent. This is for us to learn the things that are excellent. For the mighty one have commanded me to instruct you. And I will set before you some of the commandments of his judgment before I die. Remember the formal. Remember formally most assuredly called heaven and earth to witness against you and said this is what he said if you transgress the tour you shall be dispersed but if you keep it you shall be kept you keep this tour you will be kept this is what it's saying and other things also he used to say unto you when you and the twelve was together in the desert and after his death you cast them away from you and this account there came upon you what had been predicted. And now those things which you have been said unto you, it says, um, you will receive from the mighty one. Here, are, here you go, your punishment, whatever has been laid up and reserved for you. Moreover, let this letter be for testimony. Remember, wait, 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 I skipped. Let this be for testimony between me and you that you may remember the commandments of the mighty one. And that also there may be to me a defense in the presence of him who sent me. And remember, remember the Torah, remember Sion, remember the Kadash land and your brother and the covenant of your fathers. And forget not the festivals and the Shabbats and deliver this letter and tradition and law to your son. So we have to remember and pass this on to our children and at all time make requests. Pray diligently with your whole heart to the mighty one and be reconciled that he may be reconciled to you and that you may be reckoned for your multitude of iniquities and remember the iniquities of our fathers. This is dwelling in the midst of the land 
This is the word the Most High wants for you.